what's going on everybody it's your boy Noel to explain here and today we're gonna be doing something dangerous we're gonna be launching a new playlist or a new series on the channel and I gotta say some of the older videos I've done are gonna retroactively be put into this new playlist because of how it applies and I just want to say since I've already kind of dipped my toe into ninjutsu analysis via the true power series and videos like every Rasengan ever created every wood release jutsu ever I thought I'd take things the next step and begin a brand new series called the ninjutsu guide to cover the various jutsu that exists in naruto like the millions of jutsu that exist i figured it's time that i start covering these in depth because i get asked a lot of questions about how the various jutsu work by the time you guys see this my videos for the flying raijin explained and every flying raijin ever created should actually be on the channel now so keeping up with the trend of space-time ninjutsu and so i wanted to cover the Ameno Teji Car, which is the space time ninjutsu that is unique to Sasuke's Rinnegan. So, in today's installment of the ninjutsu guide, I'm gonna be telling you guys everything you guys need to know and probably didn't know about Sasuke's jutsu. So, obviously, in order to use this jutsu, you have to first have the Rinnegan, but much like Madara's Limbo jutsu, this jutsu is only found in the Rinnegan of Sasuke, which further adds to the theory that every person who naturally awakens the Rinnegan has a jutsu that is unique to them and them only. Now, this jutsu allows Sasuke to shift places between anything that happens in a space within a 10 meter radius, which comes out to being just over 32 feet in distance. Usually, Sasuke uses this jutsu to swap places with himself and either an enemy that's in a nearby vicinity or an object in order to give himself the edge in battle. Now, a good example of this is how he used this jutsu during he and Naruto's battle against Momoshiki when Sasuke was trapped by Momoshiki and so Sasuke swapped himself in Momoshiki after Sasuke was trapped in the chains which opened up the door for Naruto to attack him. This was also used in the manga when Sasuke also swapped places and allowed himself to be put in position to where Naruto could strike Jigen. Now contrary to popular belief Sasuke does not need to be looking directly at the object or person in order to shift places with them. Instead he he only needs to be aware of where they are. Now, another thing that a lot of fans tend to overlook is that just because Sasuke typically tends to use this jutsu primarily for swapping places between himself or an enemy and an object, the versatility of this jutsu extends much further than fans give it credit. So in Naruto chapter 682, we saw him use this jutsu to force another person to shift places in mid battle. This also comes in handy because on top of that, he can also force objects to swap places. And in some cases he can force ninjutsu to shift places right there on the spot, as seen in Boruto episode 65 during the Momoshiki battle. Now, this jutsu isn't just limited to Sasuke with objects around him or people in his area. Sasuke can also make use of this jutsu when he's having his perfect Susanoo used in battle and he can do so without any type of slowdown in speed despite the fact that he's shifting such a huge object. Now the main drawbacks to this jutsu is that number one it requires a considerable amount of chakra to use like many of the Rinnegan jutsu do and number two the 10 meter limit allows for an enemy to figure out the range of his jutsu and it allows him to escape like we saw Madara do once he first figured out the weakness of this jutsu. Now another thing to also take note of is the fact that Kurama's words to Naruto about Sasuke's Rinnegan still being new was an advantage for them in their fight and it's really important that you consider Kurama's words because despite Sasuke saying that he figured out how to use all the Rinnegan's basic jutsu from the basic six pass jutsu to his own unique jutsu Sasuke due to his eyes still being fresh still faced a lot of limits so for instance when he tried to use this jutsu too much back to back it would eat away at his chakra very quickly and it would make his eye bleed which would force Sasuke to build his chakra back up over time. Another thing is that in the Boruto era, Sasuke has had 16 years to master his abilities and we've seen significant improvement when it comes to using this jutsu. As shown, as he's been able to use the jutsu to a smaller extent, even after his ocular powers were highly weakened, as shown on a couple of occasions in Naruto Gaiden, and in particular for those of you guys who are wondering when was Sasuke's ocular powers weakened in Naruto Gaiden, go back to chapter 8 of Naruto Gaiden, Sasuke clearly says, as well as 
in chapter six that his ocular powers were in the process of returning and then that they had finally returned. Now, it should also be worth noting that Naruto himself once referred to his jutsu as being a really fast body flicker, but there's two things to keep in mind. Number one, Naruto's an idiot. Number two, that was Naruto seeing the jutsu after Sasuke first awakened his Rinnegan and was still getting used to his limits. And most importantly for third point, Kishimoto's own writing in Naruto Data Book 4 listed as a space-time ninjutsu. However, that's going to be it for this newest installment of the ninjutsu guide. Up next, I'm going to be doing something dangerous and I'm going to be covering every Rinnegan jutsu ever. And for those of you guys who are wondering, there are way more jutsu than the Ameno Tejikara, the basic six paths of pain, the Rini Rebirth, Limbo, Sasuke's uh, space-time ninjutsu to enter into portals. There are a lot more Rinnegan jutsu than you guys realize, and that's going to be a really big video, so be on the lookout for that. I'll have that up for you guys soon. But so always, guys, if you like anything I had to say, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have an awesome day, guys.